All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, in a previous video, I made a video about Shabir Ali. Now, all Shabir right, Ali is a person who he Christ claimed to be a sheikh. Uh, in a previous and, video, I made uh, a video in my video Shabir Ali. Uh, at that time. Now, all Shabir right, Ali is a person who he claimed to be a sheikh. Oh, look, we have uh, a in a previous video, video, I made a video in my video uh, at that time. Now, oh, Shabir Ali was a person who he claimed to be a sheikh. Oh, look, we have uh, a in a previous and, video, I made a video for that. If you have a double sound, because YouTube was open in my browser. So, I made a video before about Shabir Ali. And he was with this lady. And, and then I question what kind of a sheikh he is going with the women having a lot of makeup in his face. And then the Muslim, they made this video saying, <laughs> she is his daughter. Hello. <laughs> that is not the point, my idiot friend, Muslim by choice. The point is, do you see how much makeup she have in her face? According to Islam, a woman she exposed herself like this, she is a very, very bad woman. And now actually by acknowledging that this daughter or this girl, she is the daughter of Shabir Ali, that make me even question more Shabir Ali. How he try to give us false information, fabricating lies about Islam. Here, he is allowing his daughter to go live in TV, not only with her father, because if it's her father or not, that will not change anything. That will make a sense if she is sitting alone. But now she is going in YouTube, not even in TV. Exposing her face, putting tons of makeup, and her eyebrows is drawn by pen. She have eyelashes, and she have tons of lipsticks, and even her face became white, even though her father, he have a dark skin. This is telling you, how much makeup she have. Shabir Ali, he have many interview with many other girls and they are putting too much makeup if you look in the video. But later, we will see Shabir Ali making a video about makeup and he will tell us what is haram and what is halal and what the women she should not do to expose herself in public. Shall we listen? And then you will see why I did love at Shabir Ali. And please don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish. This is Shabir Ali, and the topic is question and answer, makeup, frequency, jewelries, Dr. Shabir Ali. And this is the lady now, and you notice here this lady, different lady, she have no lipstick whatsoever in her lips because simply the topic is makeup, frequency, jewelries. And Shabir Ali is going to give us a very shocking answer. Listen carefully. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So, Dr. Shabir, the question today is about uh, makeup, or um, fragrance and jewelry. The viewer is asking, I was wondering if it's haram uh, for women to wear makeup, fragrance, and jewelry out in public. Mm. Okay, so it, with a question like this, it is important to see what, what do our classical sources say, especially the Quran, mm -hmm. and uh, it, to, to understand that within its historical context, and then make some kind of adjustment for the changing, yeah, present day mm -hmm. dynamics. So uh, starting with the basics then, uh, the Quran in the 24th uh, chapter in the 31st uh, verse says, uh, tell the believing women this, uh, 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 so among the things to tell the believing women is that they should not um, uh, make evident uh, their beauty. They should not expose their, their, their beauty. Uh, they should not expose their beauty. Putting makeup is exposing the beauty. Listen carefully. He will continue. He will continue explaining to us. Actually, I will play the whole video for you, so you will not say he took things out of context. So they should not expose their beauty. That is haram. Was his daughter exposing her beauty by putting lipstick in public, drawing her eyeliner, her eyebrows, having two kilograms of makeup in her face? Obviously, she was not exposing her beauty. No, absolutely not. Let us continue. 
or their decoration. The word there is zina, so I have to go both ways. So you should not expose any decoration. Is makeup a decoration? It is a decoration. Listen carefully, I will play it again. And uh, the Quran in the 24th uh, chapter in the 31st uh, verse says, uh, tell the believing women this. Uh, uh, so among the things to tell the believing women is that they should not um, uh, make evident uh, their beauty. They should not expose their, their, their beauty. Uh, or their decoration. The word there is zina, so I have to go both ways. It could be the personal intrinsic beauty or the decorations on the woman's mm -hmm. uh, body or, or even clothing. Even clothing. Even clothing. So not only makeup is haram, any decoration, even clothing is haram. So the Muslim Abdul who is saying, well, this is the daughter of Shabir Ali. Here we notice that Shabir Ali is not only a hypocrite in one program he is saying to the Muslims you should not let your women show their beauty neither their decoration including the clothing which means she should cover anything she did not show colors etc this is why it's called the veil but yet his daughter she have tons of makeup and as you see Actually, we cannot see the details of the face because this girl, she spent maybe five, six hours in the front of the mirror. Let us go back to the video. What else, Shabir Ali, want to say? Okay. Uh, except that which uh, normally appears hmm. thereof. So obviously the outward clothing normally appears. So this, uh, according to this verse, there is no difficulty there. What about the kinds of jewelry that normally would be hidden? So if mm -hmm. the, that kind of jewelry would normally be worn inside uh, the, the clothing. Uh, let's say for argument's sake, um, you know, there, yeah. there, there is a low hanging necklace. necklace. So uh, for most of women is generally required and, and expected to cover the the bosom according to the same verse because it says uh, let them uh, draw their head coverings over their bosom draw their head covering over their bosom how you can make your head covering go down your bosom unless you are covering yourself continue uh, so so because the clothing would normally cover that just that piece of jewelry so normally that is expected to stay hidden uh, because to really to expose it's not so so bad to expose the jewelry itself but to expose it would mean that you have to open the garment yes. um, so so it's the opening of the mm -hmm. garment that is really um, uh, the matter of um, distaste here but but more than this also the jewelry itself if that can attract on you attention in that uh, society uh, this uh, also merited some 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 restraint because the, the verse itself ends by saying uh, let them not stamp their feet so that uh, so that uh, that which that decoration or, or a jewelry which they used to keep hidden would become known. And some commentators say that uh, women at the time wore some kind of jingling um, anklets. So if, if, you know, some women might have deliberately stamped their feet to draw to attention, attention to yeah. themselves with these anklets. And the Quran is saying that the modest Muslim woman would obviously not want to do that. Mm -hmm. So modest Muslim women, she should not do anything to get attention. Is putting a lot of makeup in the face is getting attention? Absolutely. Uh, as for perf perfume, there is nothing in the Quran that mentions perfume um, uh, at all. Uh, but uh, in in the hadith, uh, well, in, in terms of Muslim women wearing perfume, but uh, in in, in a hadith, uh, there there is a mention that uh, you know that that would restrain women from from wearing perfume if they're going to go into a gathering of men. And uh, one narrative says that the men should wear like a strong perfume. The hadith said only the women she should restrain that's it what a liar he will not say to us that his prophet said that if a woman she get a perfume on her and she walk in the street she is a whore and here we notice the hypocrisy of Shabir Ali let us show you the hadith and see how this guy he don't say the truth because if he say what it says in the hadith everybody will get disgusted how you say a woman is a whore just for wearing a perfume in the front of others so he said there is some restriction in the hadith. Here you will see the hypocrisy of this man. The messenger of Allah said, if any woman who puts a perfume, 
on and passes by people so that, that they can smell her frequency she is an adulteress she is a whore and this is sahih so this man he is lying and trying to fool us now what about the hijab he made other videos speaking about the hijab and he speak about the veil he said that the Quran mentioned khimar and he did not mention veil which means women covering or niqab let us show you how this man is a hypocrite and he is a liar Aisha she said it clearly and this is Sahih al-Bukhari Allah Apostle used to offer the Fajr prayer and some believing women covered with their veiling sheet used to attend of the Fajr prayer so some of the women they go to the Fajr prayer but look what the women they are wearing they are totally covered to the point they return home and nobody recognize them do you see it this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is Sahih so in the other video he said that Niqab never mentioned which women she have to cover herself from the top to the toes including her face the fact it does mention and Aisha she confirmed that if we go to Islamic websites to see what the scholar says you will see all of them saying that clearly that women she should not expose anything of her face in public women dress are prescribed and sharia islamic dress is that which cover her head face and all her body this guy he says something totally different in this video showing us that shabir ali have nothing to do with Islam and this is why this is explained to me why he always caught uh, the miracle of number 19 because obviously he is follower of Rashad Khalifa he claimed to be Sunni but obviously is not because here he says there is nowhere in Islam it's mentioned that women she should cover her face the house uh, so in the 33rd chapter of the Quran it is mentioned that people come to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him uh, because he was uh, in addition to being a family man he was also the head of state but there was no state uh, uh, building uh, for people to come and meet him they came and met him in his living room and the living room was not separate from the living space uh, of, of the, the private living space and so I'm oh, sorry I we, cl we click a different uh, video by mistake uh, what happened here we are stuck <laughs> let me see what i can do <laughs> i apologize by mistake we click at the thing okay skip ad welcome to let the quran speak i'm aisha your host today as part of our series on controversial issues related to women let's explore um, I would like to men uh, mention is khimar. Khimar mm -hmm. is uh, a head cover usually, and uh, this is mentioned in the Quran in Surah 24, verse number 31. Uh, tell the believing women to draw their khimars uh, uh, over their their persons. Um, so, so that's a head cover. Um, and then uh, there is a mention of uh, jilbab, and in the plural jalabib. Jilbab is a, a large outer garment like a cloak. Uh, some call it abaya, but the term used in the Quran is jilbab. And uh, this may be a cloak that a woman wears uh, over and above her house dress. So at home, she has a simple dress that makes it easy for her to get around and do her stuff uh, at home. Um, but then she's going out, so she, she wants to be dressed in a little bit more uh, in formal attire, um, in a more decent one for the public. And so she wears this outer cloak, this called a jilbab. This is mentioned in Surah 33, verse number 59. Uh, now, th there is also... Notice all the girls who stay with him, they have a lot of makeup in their face. The Prophet even, he said, that the women who take hair from her face she is cursed by Allah. You can watch the video, and this is the name of the video here. We don't want to waste our time. If we go in the hadith, not only Muhammad, he says that the women she use a perfume, she is a whore. He says this.
Give me a second. All right. Let us see what Muhammad he said about any kind of makeup. All of those hadith are Sahih hadith, and all of them they are accurate. Muhammad he said, "Allah curse the women who supply fake hair. So if a Muslim woman she use a she use a wig." She is cursed, which means she will go to hell. And the one who asked for it, so the one who said, the one who buy it, both are cursed. Take a note. And the women who pulls out hair from other people, and the women who uh, uh, depletes herself, and the women who tattoo, all of those are uh, cursed. What else? The women who add false hair, the women, uh, uh, the one who uh, connect hair to her face, and the one who block hair, from her eyebrows to make it thin. She is cursed too. What else? Let us see. Uh, I mean, look at how many hadith. Look at this, all of this. All right. Uh, even the one who fixed her teeth. <laughs> If you lost your teeth and you add a new one, <laughs> uh, the one who do blocking for her hair from her face, do you see it? But I want to show it with a clear translation from the Muslims, not only, uh, not the clear one. All right, look, all of this, all of this. I'm going slow so you can read. You can always. Uh, stop the video so you can read by your own self all right so if you take hair of him your face you are a bad woman cursed by Allah Allah has cursed women who practice tattooing and those who get themselves tattooed and who remove their face hairs they do what so if we look at the of, of those girls who they are with Zakir, with the with the Shabir Ali, are they removing hair from their face? Absolutely. If you look at the eyebrows of Shabir Ali and the eyebrows of his daughter, you will see that the, there is no match between Shabir Ali eyebrows and the eyebrows of this girl. Obviously, she is taking a lot of hair from there. Look at Shabir Ali eyebrows. This guy he have a mustache there. So the daughter will not look the same as the father. All Muslim women they take hair from their faces. Otherwise, especially those who they are coming from far east or like Pakistan or coming from Middle East like me and Arab, we are very hairy people. So if a woman she don't take hair from her face, she will look like a man but as you see women Muslim women not only they take care from their face let me show you some example this is a Muslim woman wearing hijab Alhamdulillah and this is another Muslim woman wearing hijab Alhamdulillah and this is another Muslim woman wearing hijab <laughs> all is a hijab this is the hijab board. So they are decent women who they are wearing Islamic clothing. And this man has given us lecture about what women she can wear or not. And he said clearly that a woman, she should not do things to get attention. 
so when your daughter or the woman who she is with you in the show she have tons of makeup in her face is she getting attention is she allowed even to show that Islamic scholars all of them agree absolutely not all of them you can search for this article this is an Islamic website high scholars of Islam when it is a principle for the women to uncover her face here you will see the answer permitted only in the front of somebody is a, a, a muhram which means her father her son her etc daughter blah 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 but as you see she is going in public in YouTube so it is not principle for the Muslim women to do so and here they are quoting for you tons of reference from their Islamic books to to prove to you that this is not allowed all right so it says here <clears throat> it's a permitted for a woman to uncover her face and hand in the front of a man who want to propose to her only so he might see them <laughs> like, like so he might check the, the goods he will buy all right without being alone but in other case no if he is proposing to marriage this is a case but a woman going out in public she should not show her face all right uh, and here he has given you the cases where as an example a man he want to marry her a man who want to marry a woman then uh, they are being hypocrite okay either she is allowed or not so only because he want to marry what if he would change his mind after he see her all right so women are forbidden to uncover their faces in a front of non muharam which means a man who is a strong stranger do you see it so shabir ali teaching in one video speaking against the other video showing the hypocrisy of this man and this is the islamic scholars giving you the answer we go to the front website same website actually the scholars there is a question when it is a principle to use a, a cosmetic like a cosmetic and uh, makeup and rooting for a perfume and here they say to you that a woman she cannot use any makeup in public never this beautification should not be for non muhram man which mean a person like you she can do that in only for her husband a woman she should show only her beauty to her husband only so what kind of religion Shabir Ali is following and by the way I'm not attacking him as a person but I'm showing the hypocrisy of this cult in one video he says to us that women she should not show and get attention and if you forgot I will remind you and you can always search for this video for a woman to wear makeup fragrance and jewelry out in public mm. okay so it, with a question like this it is important to see what, what do our classical sources say especially the quran mm -hmm. and uh, to, to understand that within its historical context and then make some kind of adjustment for the changing yeah present day mm -hmm. dynamics so uh, starting with the basics then uh, the quran in the 24th uh, chapter in the 31st uh, verse says uh, tell the believing women this well i uh, uh, Illa ma minha. Uh, so among the and things to tell the women is that they should not um, uh, make evident uh, their beauty. They should not expose their 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 beauty. Uh, Thank you. And then he explained, except what appear from it, like their closing, and even the closing, if it's to get attention, it's haram. Uh, or their decoration. The word there is zina. So I have to decoration. Is makeup a decoration? Absolutely. It is not something you are born with it. It is decoration you add in your body to beautify yourself and on the eyes of the one who is looking at you so when the muslims they made this video saying a christian prince exposed you expose yourself you idiot so what if she is his daughter that can be valid if she is sitting alone with him in a room that will make it father and daughter but doing a video in public with tens of kilograms of makeup to make herself white lipstick which you can see how strong they are eyeliner and eyebrows which is obviously a drawing by pen 
you don't even have eyebrows those are drawn by pen and your prophet is the one who said that the women who do that she is cursed while Aisha she said that women they used to be wearing veil and nobody can recognize their faces because they are covered from the top to the toes so what religion you are following Muhammad only allowed the Muslim women not to wear the niqab. This guy, he said, niqab. Niqab, only the women, she is not allowed to wear it around the Kaaba. Only because Muhammad, he wanted to look at them. He said, and he looked at the women walking around the Kaaba. So he want to see them. Otherwise, ask yourself, why only around the Kaaba? She, they should not wear the niqab. why <laughs> it doesn't make sense <laughs> and here <clears throat> uh, uh, let us show you another uh, where is the the one yeah and here the one about taking hair from their faces is additional proof that still this is all is haram because simply anything you add to your face to modify your face is forbidden and if you do that if you add perfume to beautify yourself only you can do it in the front of your husband and I don't know what to say else I mean this is the Muslim scholars they are the one who's saying to you not me or what we heard it's forbidden for the Muslim women to uncover their faces in the front of non-Muslim so here we notice the hypocrisy of many Muslims who live in the West or even in the East or even in the Middle East they claim to be Muslims but in fact they are not because what Islam have nothing to do with what they say what they claim about Islam is not what Islam is And now you might say to me, Christian Prince is a liar. Well, I'm not the one is talking, I'm showing you even the reference. And here we go. You can search for the article, and this is your scholars. And they are scholars, not like Shabir Ali, who don't even know how to say that his name is a prophet name correctly in Arabic. Like I, I was laughing at the way he was supposed to be saying the Quran in Arabic. We know that most correct opinion among the scholar that women should cover their faces. But there is many situations the women can cover uncover. What is that? And then he explained to you as an example, a woman, she is proposed, there is a man who proposed for her for marriage only. Like a woman, there is a man coming to marry her, and tomorrow they are going to have uh, to, 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 to be wedded for him. So he has the right to see her before he marry her because he will pay. In this case, she can show her faces and her hands. And this is why we say and we confirm that when Muslims they speak in the West about Islam 99% of them they lie to you about Islam the true Muslims is the one who don't compromise they say it as it is the Quran says beat women they say yes Quran says beat women If you ask those who claim to be sheikhs, they, they, those are like salesmen in the in the dealership for cars, car dealership. He want to sell you a car. He want to sell you Islam. But he will never tell you the truth about this cult. Please download the video, share it with your friends, and we will not leave it there for long. All right, guys? So... And remember, when somebody says to you that hijab is not a veil and veil is not hijab, well, show them those articles and let us laugh together at the Muslims' confusion and stupidity. I mean, what kind of God? You Muslims are not even... If Allah wants something, why you cannot understand what He wants? Whatever it is. Why Allah cannot make it clear if hijab is to cover your face or not to cover your face? I mean, is that hard to say? Is it possible? 
I mean Allah have time to tell you about the ant speaking to the other ants but he don't have time to tell you how to make it clear what the women dress should be so now each one of you he come and he give us his own interpretation how confusing this cult is and now which one of you is telling the truth <laughs> you know what I mean which one of you is telling the truth who is telling the truth nobody all of them are liars all of them the followers are the same as the one they follow and by the way I'm not going to ask Muhammad why if a woman she take care from her face she is a bad woman and she is cursed but Muhammad he take care from his face and not only that he used to do sugar he used to take care from all his body so the women she cannot take care from her body because that will change the way Allah he made you but the man he can circumcise and he can take care from his face and his body aren't you changing the way Allah made you the logic is a stupid the mentality is a foolish and the answers is very confusing because simply this is not a religion this is a collection of cults put together and Muhammad he make his own rules every day and I challenge any Muslim to tell me why a woman she move hair from her face Allah will curse her why if you beautify your teeth Allah will curse you why if you put a connection here to your hair Allah will curse you what is the business of Allah what is the problem what's wrong Allah will be happy to see your wife she look like a goat she have a long beard what if the woman she lost her hair and she need to, to use a wig what is Allah will be happy to see her bald what's wrong with this God I mean what's your business like if she is doing something bad if she is being a, a whore she is sleeping around I understand but look Muhammad he have no problem a woman she is sleeping around but Muhammad he cursed the women who she take care of her face let me show you this hadith look at this hadith I just remember this one a man he came to Muhammad and he told him in what it's mean that his wife is a whore a man came to the messenger of Allah said my wife does not object if anyone touch her Muhammad said divorce her if you wish he said I'm afraid that I will miss her the Prophet he said enjoy her not stay with her you see that the, 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 the translation fast trans he did not say the uh, you know uh, uh, stay with her he said no he said enjoy her then which means enjoy her with the rest here we go different translation you see how the translation change a prophet of God a Muslim woman she she allow anyone to touch her and touch her mean she sleep with him not touch her what touch her a man they will come touch you and leave like why what does that mean touch and run the man is is, is, is saying that his wife she sleep with everybody she never say no to anyone Muhammad saying to the man divorce her the guy he said well I uh, I like her the man Muhammad he says will enjoy her which means enjoy her with the rest of the men so how Allah he cursed the women she take care of him her face but yet are advising a man to stay with the women who is obviously she is a whore and Allah will not curse her why Muhammad did not say I curse her may Allah curse her Allah will burn her no enjoy her the man who is saying that Allah will curse the women for putting makeup or taking hair from her face he allow a Muslim man and Muslim women to sleep together for three days three nights without marriage and here the Muslim in their false translation this says if a man and the women agree and between two bracket to do temporarily marriage this is two bracket is not exist fabrication 
nowhere it says marriage their marriage should last it doesn't say their marriage it says their relationship you liar Aishra three nights and if they like to increase they can increase so look at this open-minded hippie prophet when he want it's okay to sleep with the women three days three night and she is not your wife and they and Muslim today they call it temporarily married since when marriage can be temporarily because it is just for sex so if you take hair from your face Allah will curse you but if you sleep with man for three days three night and he pay you for it Allah will not curse you this is halal this is how foolish this cult is please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to download this video immediately because within an hour from now I will take it down thank you very much for listening and being here if you like to learn more please feel free to read my books you can find them in amazon.com Amazon Spanish Amazon German Amazon Swedish French you name it feel free to get my books and learn more about such a stupid cult and we are here to expose them Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon again Take care. Bye-bye.